set my sails away for the wind to blow. I scatter the miles to find in my way to go. Hey guys, we are back in Nebraska enjoying Liv's second birthday party with friends and family, celebrating Independence Day, and just getting to kind of hit all of our favorite spots. Whenever we come home, that's our favorite thing to do. Everything is in such close proximity. We can hit the gym, the chiropractor, get a massage, all these things that I did in such a small, compact amount of time. All of that being said, we asked you guys on Instagram, what kind of content do you wanna see from us while we're back? The most common response was, how do you stay whole food plant-based or healthy when you travel, especially when you're together with friends and family who maybe don't lead the same lifestyle as you. So I think that's the most perfect topic to cover while we're home because that's what we've been navigating while we're back and that's what we always have to navigate whether people come to us or we come to them. <laughs> Tip number one, the first thing to do to automatically boost your health, if you've been flying, you're exposed to a lot of radiation and EMFs and all kinds of recycled air so the first thing you want to do when you get off an airplane is slip your shoes off and do some barefoot grounding earthing hug a tree snuggle with a palm or a branch of some sort no matter where you're at just get back to your roots literally so that is actually the first thing i did when we got to my parents house i slipped my sandals off ran in the backyard out by the pond and i was like just in automatically in heaven it's just pure bliss back here so do your best to get connected get back to your roots and on that note back to our roots here with family and friends has been such a blessing so much fun and the more that we're doing this plant-based slash healthy lifestyle thing the more our family has come along with us for the ride they're super accommodating for the most part however i will say dusty has chefed most of our dinners we are most of the time fending for ourselves when it comes to meals and it turns out that our family members end up eating with us instead of them providing for us they just end up eating plant-based with us so it's been really great something that really has resonated with me especially since experiencing hurricane ian when we moved to florida last year is the palm trees so they're the only ones left standing and intact after this category 5 hurricane and that is because they bend they don't break so with that mindset coming home traveling having people over it's always about being flexible bending as opposed to snapping and breaking so we have to be cognizant of the fact that when we go somewhere we're going to be away from a lot of our comforts we don't have our kangen machine and our filtered ro water we don't have all of our superfoods or our appliances or pots and pans even, or even a sharpened knife to properly cut our salads with. That being said, we remain flexible. We continue to eat, move, rest our best. So what do we do when it comes to 
eating our best. The first thing we always do is hit a grocery store. We usually end up going to the grocery store right when we get to wherever we're staying, but this time we actually planned a little bit more ahead and we asked both of our moms to, hey, can you grab a handful of ripe speckled bananas for us or avocados? or just a few staples to have that we knew would need to ripen in order to enjoy them when we got home. And then we just had to grab a few other staples when we got here, so it wasn't quite as crazy of a grocery haul. So that was super helpful. And my mom is super generous and always clears one or two shelves in the refrigerator for us. And we kind of squeeze our way into the pantry with potatoes and quinoa. And thankfully, both of our moms use Sun Warrior protein powder, which is always a staple in our oatmeals and smoothies and nice creams. The whole entire family was begging for me to make some banana ice cream for us every single night after dinner, which was so much fun to get to share. Even my grandma and grandpa had it and loved it too. Liv's second birthday we had all of our closest friends and family over and we felt like the best route as far as giving them a whole food plant-based meal goes would be to offer something that's familiar but maybe with a different twist on it so we had chipotle catered which everybody loves chipotle but we simply did the sofritas as the protein and we did the brown rice the black beans tons and tons of romaine and all of the salsas and it was such a hit. Everybody loved it so much. And then for dessert, we actually did the best of both worlds. We had a vegan vanilla buttercream cake. We also had an organic watermelon fruit cake. And honestly, the fruit cake was the first to be completely gone. And on one of the other nights, while everybody was begging for apple pie and ice cream, everybody seriously enjoyed the banana and ice cream just as much. So having that option and showing what's possible, I think is the most effective route to take. So it's onion, garlic, little sweet mixed peppers, mushrooms, spinach, quinoa, and salt and pepper. And honestly, if you're traveling and you don't have your spice cabinet, you don't really need anything besides salt and pepper and the natural flavor from all of the veggies cooking together. It gives it plenty of flavor. I added a little bit of quinoa to the base of my bowl. It's a good combo of raw and cooked in here. And if you need extra flavor, this is my favorite. Probably add some diced avocado on top and call it good. Mm. Yeah, so like Erin said, we've been doing most of the cooking. I've been doing a lot of the dinners. Simple things like pasta. So we made Indian like the first or second night we got here and it was super duper spicy and Aaron's grandpa was not into it. So I ended up making him and the kids some pasta with red sauce and I actually put some green lentils in there, obviously instead of meat. And he was like, interesting, what are these? And so we were talking about lentils and again, nobody cares because it's all delicious, right? And the kids of course ate it. We've got chickpea pasta, red lentil pasta. It's so protein packed and delicious and everybody enjoyed it. So we always tell people this, if you want your family and other people to get on board with your plant-based diet, you have to do the cooking and you have to make it amazing. And amazing doesn't necessarily mean indulgent, greasy, super gourmet, or even involved. Like it just has to be good. Chipotle, for instance, it's not hard. It wasn't difficult. It wasn't any more expensive. It was just a plant-based option that everybody was already familiar with. So it made it really, really easy. We also find that when we're traveling, 
things like lunches and dinners tend to be a little bit different, but the one thing we always try to keep the same is breakfast. So that means two things, oats and green smoothies. So I had my mom pick up a whole bunch of bananas a couple days early so that they would be ripe. We chopped them up, put them in the freezer so we had smoothies this whole week for our morning green smoothies and our dessert and ice creams. For breakfast, we had a big bag of oats with some soy milk that I also had delivered. So we were making pancakes, waffles, regular oats with some frozen fruit, and it was so, so delicious. And the main thing is the kids totally loved it, right? Like they have something familiar in the mornings. It's a good start. Plus, you all know and have all heard that our green smoothies have like seriously everything you need nutrition-wise to get you through the day. So we like to start there. So even when you do your best to provide yourself with the healthy options, chances are with family and friends and social gatherings, there are still going to be temptations that might try to steer you away from your healthy options. Things like chips, alcohol, juicy steaks, whatever it is that's trying to lure you in that you feel you might need to avoid for any reason. My mom always makes these really amazing oil-free baked potato chips that are so good and again it's just a nice option to have in place of some of those tempting foods. As far as alcohol, I actually ordered ahead of time on Amazon knowing that the 4th of July and celebrations, everybody wants something fun to drink but we have a lot of people in our family who don't do alcohol so it's just fun to have something that's flavored, that relaxes you, that chills you out that also is healthy for you. So we got these moment drinks that are super fun. I can link them below in the description. I'm having a time of my life. Everything is going all right. Ooh, I just made them look twice. This is how it feels when you live in that good, good life. Chasing it, yeah, I got the right vision, yeah I won't let you down, we about to paint the town Got the people all around, we been surfing on the crown, yeah We them cool kids with the rules now Yeah, we let loose, so lighten up, break the rules now Yeah, we wild out, out the house with the tunes loud On top of the clouds, looking round Yo, how we ever getting down? So our friend Brian, who actually came on our retreats and has been hanging out with us in Florida now, asked me months ago, he's like, what do I tell people when I'm around them and I'm obviously making them uncomfortable with my vegan self? I'm like, you know what? I always tell people, look, I used to eat this way. I used to love my meat and all the things, but now I eat this way not to make you or anyone else uncomfortable, but seriously for myself because I feel so much better now than I used to. My 30-something self is stronger, faster, clearer than my 20-something year old self, and I truly believe it's because the foods I'm eating and the way that I'm living. And people really can't argue with that. If it's somebody who's just an acquaintance and they're wondering why you're avoiding this or that, you can always use the allergy or stomach upset or sensitivity excuse as well if you don't feel comfortable explaining yourself. Nobody is going to give you a hard time if you're allergic to dairy 
or if you're allergic to cats or dogs. In fact, they will go out of their way before you come into their home to put their dog away or to put their cat away to make you as comfortable as possible. And with diet and healthy choices, for some reason, there's a reflection on themselves that people sometimes experience and it makes them a little bit uncomfortable and that comes out as either ridiculing you or joking or poking you. So just remember, if you don't feel comfortable really explaining yourself, then just use the allergy excuse and it always works. When it comes to moving our best, we did not have our home garage gym, but the first thing we did was called the gym that we wanted to go to, that all of our family members actually go to, and we asked them if there's any way we could get a trial membership, and thankfully, they set us up with a free seven days. The thing about this gym is that they have a kid's play area that Max and Liv loved. So it made it super easy to drop them off to have some fun and get in a sweat session. Our week was pretty action packed and there were holidays and days where the gym wasn't an option. So we made sure to go for jogs. We were playing in the backyard, chasing the kids, playing catch, playing football, just always on our feet, always on the go. If you're feeling foggy or sluggish or tired and lethargic and drained because you're on vacation and maybe you ate too much the night before, so you feel like exercise maybe isn't in the cards for you, I would encourage you to move your body, bring your body, get there and just do something instead because exercise doesn't actually further deplete you or tire you out. It actually can have the opposite effect and energize you and get your systems moving and revved up and fired up for the day. And I always find that I feel like I get this little boost in metabolism that really just gives me that oomph I need to get through the day. So definitely try to exercise even if you're feeling slow. Okay, so last but not least, rest. This is always the hardest one. You end up jet lagged, sleep deprived before your vacation or your time away even starts. And so that's always a tough one. But I will say, yes, we've been going nonstop, but we've also had a lot of downtime. Like seriously, today we've just been hanging out. Yes, sitting on our phones, being lazy, watching the kids run around but it's been so, so nice. And I even took a nap in this hammock with Liv a couple days ago. Our guest room has a queen size bed, but we're used to a king size at home. And we have tried to all fit on this bed, but what we've decided to do is take the mattress and sleep on it sideways on the floor. So it's actually been super fun. We've done this two or three times now the last few times we've been home, but it is different. And so it can be harder to sleep as well so anything that you can do to routinize your actual routines that you do at home for me at home and away i sleep with earplugs and a face mask and i always have a sleepy tea so some kind of sweet slumber tea valerian root is my favorite it really really works showering before bed you know these simple things that you do at home do the same things on vacation and you'll be sure to stay on track and get good sleep that way. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 